In this video, we would see how to increase the size of a mount point in Linux. For this video, I am taking an example of an LVM partition. The same concept will be applied to other type of partitions as well. So before knowing how to increase the size of a mount point, we need to understand how exactly this will work. So in the diagram, we have an LVM partition. For example, we have a disk. We have made the partition out of the disk. So in case of LVM, we will make physical volume and using this physical volume, we will create a volume group and then we will create multiple logical volumes out of this volume group. So once the logical volume is created, so this will be formatted with a particular file system and that formatted partition will be mounted on a particular mount point. So to increase the size of a mount point, we need to increase the size of this logical volume and also we need to grow the corresponding file system size corresponding to the increase of logical volume. So how to increase the size of a logical volume? If we have enough size in the volume group, then directly we can increase the size of the logical volume. But if we don't have enough size in the volume group, then we have to extend the size of this volume group first. So for that, we need to extend the size of the physical volume. So to increase the physical volume size, the partition size should be increased. So that means, if you want to increase the size of a mount point, First of all, we need to check whether we have enough size in the volume group so that we can increase the size of the logical volume. If we don't have, then we have to increase the volume group size. So for that, we need to increase the physical volume size. For that, we need to increase the LVM partition size. So now in this video, we will see how to increase the logical volume size as well as how to extend these sizes as well. Let us start. Now I have logged into your Linux terminal. Let us display the mount point here. So here these are all the mount points in this system. Out of all these mount points, in this video, I want to increase the size of this mount point. So it is having almost 100 MB now. So now we would like to increase the size by 200 MB, means the size should be almost 300 MB. So to increase the size of this mount point, we have to increase the size of this volume and we also need to increase corresponding file system. So let us try to increase the size of this volume first. Then we will try to increase the file system size as well. So before increasing the logical volume, we need to check the free space of this volume group. If the volume group has sufficient free space, then this logical volume can use that free space. If it is not having enough free space, then we have to extend the size of volume group as well. So to check the details of logical volume, we have to type LVS. So here it will print all the logical volumes and corresponding volume group. Here we can see that these are the details corresponding to this logical volume. So here this logical volume belongs to my VZ2 volume group. Here we can see that the logical volume size is 100 MB. So now let us check the details of volume group. For that we need to type EGS. Here we can see that my VZ2 has free size almost less than 2.7 GB. Since we want to increase the size of this logical volume by 200 MB, so it is less than 2.7 GB. So we do not need to increase the size of this volume group and this logical volume can use the free space of this volume group. So for that we can directly increase the size of this volume. So to increase the size of a logical volume, we have to use the command LV extend. So for using LV extend, we also need the path of this logical volume. So for that we can use LV display command and we need to mention the volume group here. So here, this is the logical volume path of my LV1. So this path will be used when we execute LV extend command. So let us execute the command. Here we need to specify the size. So here I am increasing by 200 MB. So now we need to specify the path. So this command will extend the size of this logical volume by 200 MB. So now we can see that the logical volume is successfully resized. So let us verify with LVS command again. So now we can see that it has the size of 300 MB. So now we have increased the size of the volume. We also need to increase the size of the file system. For that we need to identify which file system is being used by this volume. For that we can execute the mount command. We can search for my volume. Here we can see that the file system type is exe4. So now we need to find how to increase the file system size of type exe4. So for that we can use resize to fs command. So let us use that. So for that we need to provide the path of this volume. 
Here we can see that the file system is resized. So now we can verify the size of the mount point using df command. So now we can see that the size of this mount point is almost 300 MB. So this is how we can increase the size of a mount point by increasing corresponding volume size as well as the file system size. So now we have seen how to increase the size of a mount point by increasing the corresponding size of the volume. So when the required size is within the limits of volume group size. Now if we want to increase this logical volume by size more than the free space available in the volume group, then we have to extend all these partition size, physical volume size and volume group size. So now let us see that. So here if we type VGS, here the free space available is 2.5 gigabytes. Now I want to increase the size of this own point by 3 gigabytes. So we need to get the path of this volume again. So we need to provide my VC2. So now let us try to increase this volume by 3 gigabytes. So for that we will try to use LV extend again. So here I am increasing by 3 gigabytes. So now we can see that there is an issue insufficient free space. That means this volume group is not having enough free space to accommodate the increase of corresponding volume. So what we need to do, we need to increase the volume group now. For that we need to increase the physical volume. So how to find the physical volume corresponding to this volume group? For that we need to use PV display command. So here we can see multiple physical volumes and corresponding volume groups. So here we can see that this is the volume group name. So for this we have the physical volume name as dev sd6. So we have to increase the size of this physical volume before increasing the size of this volume group. So now we need to find what is the partition we are using corresponding to this physical volume. For that let us use lsblk command. Here we can see there is a device sdc. So the size of this disk is 15 GB. Out of this 15 GB, these partitions SDC 5, 6 and 7 are occupying almost 9 GB. So still we have 6 GB remaining. So now the SDC 6 partition can use that free space 6 GB. So let us try to extend this size to use the free space. So now we have to increase the size of this partition. So before increasing the size of this partition, let us get more information about the partitions. For that, let me use parted command. So here we can see the partitions of this device. So we have four partitions, five, six, seven. So here we need to increase the size of this partition. So this partition is in the middle of two partitions, like partition five and partition seven. Since partition six is in middle of five and seven, we cannot directly increase the partition size because the next partition is already starting at seven thousand MB, where the partition six ended. So to change this partition size, we can this can be done in two ways. Either we can move the starting point of this partition 7 to a new number, then we can extend 6, or we can create a new partition altogether for partition 6 and we'll move the data of partition 6 to that new partition. So I want to do in the first method here. So I want to move this swap partition to a new number. So let us execute parted command for that. So here we need to select the device SDC. So let us print the partitions. So now we want to move this web partition so that we can accommodate some space for partition 6. So for that let us create a new partition. So let me use make part. And here this is a logical type. So the type of the file system is web file system. Here the starting point is important. So I want to allocate extra 3 GB for partition 6. So this partition should start with 10 GB. So I will give 10 GB here. And the end should be 12 GB. So now we can print the partitions again. So now we can see that a new partition is created from 10 GB to 12 GB which is of type swap. So now let us go back to our command line. So now let us execute lsblk command again. So here we can see a new partition sdc8. So using this partition, we have to make a new 
swap partition. So for that we need to execute mk swap command. So now we have to make this swap on. So now we have to execute swap on command. So now execute lsblk again. Here we can see that a new swap partition is created with 2GB. So let us remove this old partition. So we have to make the swap off for this partition. So let us do that. Let us execute lsblk again. So now this partition is not of swap. So we can remove this partition. So for that let us execute parted command again. So here we need to select the device SDC, print the partitions. So now we need to delete the partition 7. Let us do that. So here it is asking us to reboot the device. So we can do that. So before that we can ignore now. So let us again print it. So now we can see that the partition 7 is deleted. And the partition 8 is numbered as 7. So now we have some empty space from 7 GB to 10 GB. So let us extend this partition 6 up to 10 GB. So let us execute help command here. For increasing the partition size, we can use resize command. So let us execute that. So here the partition number is 6. So the end size is 10 GB. Let us print again. So now we can see that partition 6 is extended up to 10 GB. So let us quit now. So let us reboot the machine. So now the machine is restarted. Let us verify the partitions again. Now we can see that the size of this SDC 6 partition is increased by 3 GB. So now we have increased the partition size. So now we can extend this physical volume size. So to extend the physical volume size, we have to use PV resize command. So let us get the help of this command. So we have to set the physical volume size. So now instead of 300 MB, I want to make it 3.3 GB. So let me do that. Let's proceed. So now the physical volume is changed. So let us execute PVS command now. So now we can see that the size of the physical volume is increased up to 3.3 GB. So since the physical volume size is increased, so the volume group will contain the latest size of physical volume. So now we can see that the volume group is having a free size of 3 GB. So now we can extend the logical volume size. So get the details of logical volume. Let us also get the path of this logical volume. So now we can extend this logical volume path to accommodate the new size. So for that we are using LV extend command. So let us execute this command. So now that the logical volume is successfully resized. So we can verify with lsblk command. So now we can see that the size of the logical volume is changed to 3.3 GB. So the logical volume size is changed. We also need to change corresponding file system size as well. So here it is saying the file system is already having that much size. So we can verify the mount point. So now we can see that the size of this mount point is 3.1 GB. So this is the second way of increasing the size of the mount point when we don't have enough size in the volume group. So in this video we have seen how to increase the size of a mount point by changing the size of the corresponding logical volume. So here we have seen two cases. In the first case we have seen the size of this logical volume is less than the corresponding size in the volume group. In the second case we have seen the required size is more than the free space in the volume group. I hope this video will help you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.